What happens when you stop masturbating? What happens? There's a beautiful thing that happens when you actually stop masturbating. There's a lot of things that happen, but there's one particular thing that happens when you stop masturbating. And today, we are going to discuss that. Before we do that, man, you already know what I need you to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell because it does go a long way with helping out the channel. If this is your first time, I already know why you're here. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops. And you're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture. You are in the right place. Without further ado, let's get into this video. When you begin or when you stop masturbating, there are several things that happen that are all positive. Right. We're going to discuss some of those things, but then I want to discuss what is the main thing that happens when you stop masturbating. So let's just go down the list. When you stop masturbating, your libido comes back naturally. You have that thrust. You have that unction. You have that pure sexual desire. That's natural. That's God given. Not dirty and, and slimy and disgusting. Okay. Number two, your testosterone levels increase because you're not getting rid of the life source at such a rapid pace. You're not desecrating keyboards, laptops, and desktops. You're retaining the energy and it is revitalizing you. Your brain fog begins to fade. You can think clearer now. You can see things with a more enlightening perspective as opposed to seeing through the lens of pornography, lust, and all of these wicked things that come along with defiling yourself. You begin to experience female attraction, which is in most cases demonic. Because what happens is when you begin to retain your seed, the devil, his agents will send these women your way to get you to extract the seed. That's the reason for female attraction is to get you to glamorize, to get you to be enamored by the opposite sex. So the girl of your dreams, the type of women that you actually like begin to appear, begin to give you choosing signals. This is all so you will extract that seed and offer up that seed to demons on demonic altars. Right. So a lot of you guys get excited about the female attraction. Everybody talks about the female attraction, semen retention, female attraction. These women really like me. No, 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 no. Goofy. Get spiritual understanding. Be enlightened. This is the devil sending these demonic influences into your life in order to get you back on the right track for them, which is depleting yourself, desecrating keyboards, laptops and desktops so they can hijack your virtues and hijack your destiny. Don't be deceived by female attraction. Get knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Another thing that happens when you begin to retain your seed, you begin to have some sort of a, a glow, right? Your skin pops. Everything is, is looking crispy, right? Your voice gets deeper. You're more manly because you got the testosterone, that increased level of testosterone flowing through your body, flowing through your veins. Your energy levels go up. These are all good things. But what is the number one thing that happens? What is the number one thing that happens when you stop masturbating? What is it? What is it? I'm going to tell you. The number one thing that happens when you stop masturbating is you begin to win spiritual battles. That's right. 
That's right. You begin to win spiritual battles. This is the most important thing. Your life is a war zone. Your life is a battle. From the day you enter into this realm, from the day you enter into this world, there's a spiritual war going on for your soul. And when you stop masturbating, you will begin to win spiritual battles. Why is this important? Because when you make yourself an altar for demons, that's what masturbation does. It makes you an altar for demons. I want you to understand what I'm saying. When you masturbate, you're making yourself an altar for demons, meaning you're putting yourself on an altar and you are offering up yourself as a sacrifice Specifically in this situation, you're offering up your semen as a sacrifice to demons. Okay. Jesus said when he taught the disciples how to pray, he said, Father, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does this mean? It means that your physical life is predicated on a spiritual reality. That's why masturbation is so detrimental to your progress, because it doesn't allow for things to flow the way they should flow spiritually for you. Because you've made yourself an idol and not an idol, but an altar for demons. God has wonderful plans for you, according to Jeremiah 29, 11 plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope in the future, plans not to harm you. But when you willingly make yourself an altar for demons, how do you expect to pull down the will of heaven for your life and cause it to manifest in the earth? How do you expect that to happen? You know what it says in Revelation chapter 12 and 10, uh, chapter 12, verses 10 through 12. It says that our adversary, the devil, is standing before the throne of God day and night, accusing the children of of God, meaning when you beat your meat, when you desecrate keyboards, laptops, and desktops, the devil is tattletaling on you. He's snitching on you. He's saying, This one belongs to me. And he's crying out to God because he knows that God is a just God. He's using God's nature. He's using God's character. And he's and he's holding God accountable to his own nature, which is to execute judgment against sin. And he's accusing you and he's saying, now nah, that blessing can't come down. The will of heaven for his life cannot be manifested because he's offering up himself. To me, my kingdom. Therefore, I get to do what I want to do with this soul here on the earth. This is mine. This is my possession. You have to curse him. You have to send a plague against him because he's willingly offering himself up to me. Therefore, his prayer should be hindered. His prayer shouldn't even be answered according to your will, according to your nature, according to your righteous nature. You you have nothing to do with the wicked. This dude, this clown, this bozo, this imbecile. He doesn't know anything. This little this little twerp. I refuse to let you bless him because you are a righteous God. And you punish sin. And he's willingly sinning against you. So this is why I tell you guys, this is why I'm telling you that when you stop masturbating, you close the portal. You close that spiritual portal to prevent those evil spirits from stealing and prostituting your destiny to the children of darkness. You begin to win spiritual battles. So when that one person who really hates your guts, they don't want you to have shoes on your feet. They don't want you to have one can of beans in your cupboard. They want all of your tires to blow out on the highway. 
They don't want anything good to happen to you. And when they set their intentions to do evil and to go to such lengths to uh, issue curses against you via witchcraft or just bad thoughts in, in general, um, wishing evil against you, because that's witchcraft too, just wishing evil against someone. You're sending spells against a person. When they do these things, you're protected because you're living a sexually pure life before God. And those curses will not be able to penetrate you. I've listened to countless former witches say that they would always try to send a spell, a spirit of masturbation to get to get men, ma women and men masturbating because it allowed them to be able to do the dirty work. It allowed them to be able to perform the dirty work. It allowed for the curses to actually take effect. They want you masturbating because you make their job easy. When you masturbate, you make, you make your enemy's job easy. When you masturbate, you make it easy for Satan to accuse you. You make it easy. When you stop masturbating, you will begin to win spiritual battles. Your spiritual dashboard. What do I mean by spiritual dashboard? When you doze off to sleep and you enter into the realms, your dashboard will begin to change. You'll, you'll start seeing the satanic and demonic activity. You will start to overcome it in the dreams because spiritually, You've closed off the door. Now your prayers have more weight because they're not being hindered by your own sinful actions. They're not being hindered. They're holding more weight in the spirit. Your adversary has nothing to come at you with. Because you've closed that door. You've closed that door on masturbation. You've closed that door on pornography. You've closed that door on fornication. you closed that door on adultery. When you close these sexual portals, you shut down your enemies. People trying to send love spells on you, they're going to work if you're beating your meat. If you're desecrating keyboards, laptops, and desktops, those spells are going to work. When somebody wants to end your life and they send that spell to end your Life is going to work. If you are desecrating keyboards, laptops, and desktops, the only way those things will not work if God steps in and intervenes for you, like he did for me. Had he not intervened for me, I would be six feet under the dirt right now. Best believe it. But he intervened for me. But the Bible says, do not tempt the Lord thy God. Don't tempt him. Don't, don't assume God is going to do something for you. Right. You you make it your you make it your um, responsibility to do and to hearken unto the words of the Lord, his commandments. Lest you be overtaken, lest your foot does dash against the stone. Do not tempt God. The devil told Jesus to jump off the mountain. Because his angel, God will give his angels charge over him. He wasn't going to tempt God. Don't tempt God. Don't sin because, oh, he's merciful. Don't do that because Satan is trying to get you. Satan is trying to get you knocked off, bro. He's trying to take your soul. He's trying to take your blessing. He's trying to take your destiny. He's trying to take your virtues. When you stop masturbating, you will begin to win spiritual battles. I'm going to wrap it up with this. Jesus said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hit the like button for your boy if you're getting value. He said, let your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. How is, your, how is God's will for your life going to be done on earth if you're masturbating and beating your meat? Satan is going to handle those prayers. If Daniel's prayers, Daniel got his prayers hindered for, for 21 days and this man was righteous. Imagine how your prayers are going to be hindered. If you're beating your meat, watching porn, you understand what I'm saying, right? You have to close those spiritual portals. Got to close them, okay? Um, 
And when you do that, you're going to start winning spiritual battles. You're going to start exercising authority over these demonic entities and these people who are trying to destroy your life. You're going to be able to reach those levels of success. You're going to be able to tap into what your ultimate destiny is, what God's plan for your life is. According to Jeremiah 29 and 11, you're going to be able to manifest. You're going to be able to bring down the will of heaven for, God, for, for your life and manifest it into the earth because you're spiritually aligned. But when you make yourself an altar for demons, bro, it ain't going to happen. This is Holman Us Podcast, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace.